Okay, so I'm here at iBeam with Tom Igo to talk about the Arduino Mega, and he also has a bunch of other really cool things here, like the original prototyping boards, which I got a real kick out of because I've never made a prototype that looks like this. Um, and he also has a few other projects that he'd like to show us. So, Tom, can you tell us about the Arduino Mega? Sure, the Mega is basically uh, a big Arduino, uh, and so what we were aiming at with it was we always get people saying, well, you know, there's not enough pins on the Arduino, or there's not enough memory on the Arduino, or there's not enough serial boards on the Arduino. So we really focused on addressing those problems to start with. So it's got uh, 16 analog ins, it's got uh, 11 PWMs, uh, so you can do analog out essentially, or fake analog out. It's got four dedicated serial ports, and it's got a total of 54 digital I.O. pins. Uh, and it's got 128K memory, which is nice. So what you can do with it, first off, a project that comes up all the time from students, from hobbyists, and so forth, people always say, I want to make a really big LED project. Well, okay, now you can do it without any other parts because you can control lots and lots of LEDs. In fact, one of the things I'll show you here is how to control 128 LEDs at a time. Uh, the other thing that I think is really, really useful for is there are more and more projects uh, that come out now that need a lot of serial ports. So let's say, for example, you're going to attach a GPS module to this and then you want to make it wireless and you may want to make it talk to your robot that way. Okay, well you're going to need a serial port for the wireless, you're going to need a serial port for the GPS, and probably a serial port for the uh, robot. Well, with four ports you can do that without a problem. Uh, with the software serial library it was always a little tricky. Now it's actually pretty simple. So the project that I built just as a first off here uh, I was recently in China with Bunny Huang and we picked up a bunch of spare parts. So one of the parts we picked up were these lovely little 8x8 LED matrices. I like them a lot and I'd always wanted to do a project with them. And um, so I built a really quick one first on, on a regular Arduino, um, controlling 8x8 using 16 pins. But I said, well, we can do better than that. So with the Mega, I set the board up so that I've got two 8x8s on here uh, using 32 of the 54 pins, and that's going to allow me to control 128 LEDs from one Arduino with no extra parts. And that's kind of fun. So let me plug this in, and you'll get to see it working. Now, this example isn't really flashy because I want to keep the code simple, but it gives you the basics that you can run off and do yourself much flashier and fancier things from, which is kind of the whole point of Arduino to begin with. So, oh, I should also mention uh, John Luca Martino at Smart Projects, who makes the Arduinos, has also made a really nice prototyping shield for them. Um, I've got, I guess these are the first two. Um, but it's just a nice shield that you can either solder directly to, or you could get yourself a little breadboard and just stick it in the middle. Um, the nice thing about them, too, is that you don't need to use all the pins if you don't need them. So, for example, with this one, I just soldered on pins that I needed uh, over here and on this edge. I didn't bother with all the others because why bother? Anyway, let's plug it in. It's all wired up, and when it runs, just runs a quick bit of test code to go through all 128 LEDs. Now you can go faster than that. I'm putting in about a 10 millisecond delay in between each one, but I figured, you know, the Knight Rider is an example that uh, we love on the original Arduino. I figured I'd just duplicate the Knight Rider with 128 LEDs. Yeah, I know there's a lot of projects that we featured on Make, um, even the POVs um, and the original. Uh, Di Similia, which while I have you here, am I pronouncing that right? That's a Dieci Mila. Ah, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I knew you'd be the right person to ask. Um, there's a lot of people that have always wanted to add more LEDs to a POV, and um, you know this obviously you can have plenty. <laughs> yeah, that's this is what it's uh, what it's there for. Uh, also, there's just a good bit more memory, so if you needed to say store a lot of data on there, you could do it. So anyway, the, the, having the extra memory will be a nice thing because then you can start to do a little limited data logging too without having to say attach an SD card or things like that. Right. 
But of course, have the serial ports will make it touching the SD card a piece of cake. So that's one of the projects that would be fun to do as well. Then the other one I'm working on just for myself, I don't know if this would be a mega project or not, but I've been working with these lovely little uh, LED displays. Each of the characters in here is a 5 by 7 LED matrix, so you've got eight of them in that one block. So it makes for a really pretty display. And uh, I've been working on a scrolling display with them and a library for Arduino to use them. They're not a cheap display, they're about 35 bucks a piece, but they are very pretty if you're looking for a particular type of uh, LED display. Um, so hopefully that'll come out sometimes. Is there any way we can plug that in and see it work? Uh, good or do we question. have to load code? We need to load some code. Do I have any code loaded for it? Okay, so Tom did have some code for this display. I begged him because I wanted to check it out. And, uh, and there it is, just saying hello world. Okay, Tom, well, thank you for showing us all the stuff. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more to come. Um, before we go, I did want to, for, for Gareth's sake, I saw that you have a maker's notebook there. Can you show me your cover? Because you, uh, you know you have to customize them. I'm really boring. Mine is totally uncustomized. All right, we're going to have to get Tom some stickers. Gareth, you're on that. I've never been a sticker guy. What can I yeah, say? Yeah, well, I brought mine, so that makes up for it. <laughs> I do love the notebooks, man. Anytime I can sort of get my hands on one, I do. I've got two running right now and probably a third coming soon. All right, well, I'll get another one in the mail to you. Cool. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Tom.